Hey there, it's me again. Welcome to part 50 of my 1000 part series called Computers! Are they the future or are they soul-sucking death boxes sent to us by Cthulhu? I'm Jake Roper and I just installed the internet on my computer. So today I'm gonna take you on a journey through the World Wide Web uh, and it's a magical new invention that is connecting computers all over the world. You might be saying, Jake, what is this crazy thing? Well, I'm a hip guy, and I like to keep up with all the cool, latest popular slang. So for that, I can use a website called inthe90s.com, which is right now not. <laughs> You'll get that later. But who invented the web? Well, a man named Tim Berners-Lee, an English engineer and computer scientist who was just trying to find a way for scientists around the world to share data. And he did just that in 1989, but it wasn't until August 6, 1991, when the first site was actually launched. This is it. And it outlines how to make more web pages. So thanks, Tim Berners-Lee, for this page in the 90s.com and other awesome dot wong. Things you can do on the World Wide Web now, guys. Okay, before we can get cruising on the net, the first thing we have to do is log on to the internet. And this is going to, to take a while. Now we'll load a web browser that will help us go wherever we want to. Of course, the only web browser that matters here in 1995 is Netscape Navigator, and through that we can access our search engine. The oldest search engine still in use is Web Crawler. It's almost two years old right now in 1995. All right, now we can log on to our GeoCities page. Just enter a URL. That stands for Uniform Resource Locator, by the way, and you'll have a brand new GeoCities web page all to yourself. Look at that. Pretty hip. Now to see web pages over time, the Wayback Machine is a great resource. You can even look into the future all the way to 2018. Wow, where's the flying cars, right? That seems like a pretty arbitrary time to stop reading the future, but what do I know? I'm just a kid sitting in his mom's basement. Now this site has over 279 billion web pages. That can't be right. There are less than 30,000 websites right now here in 1995. Whoa, that is some cool internet. <laughs> Ooh, here's a weird one from 2005. YouTube, it's some sort of video sharing website. It was activated on Valentine's Day of 2005 and that's because it was originally meant to be a dating site. One of the co-founders, Steve Chen, said the idea was for single people to upload videos introducing themselves and describing what they're looking for. Sounds pretty crazy. The first video is me at the zoo and it was uploaded by one of the other co-founders and it's only 19 seconds long and has over 50 million views. Wow, that's a lot of people on the internet. Woo! All right, if I've learned anything from watching movies like Back to the Future, we shouldn't meddle in the future too much. So let's go back to the past where we also shouldn't meddle because that can change the future, but who cares? So what were some of the earliest websites? Hmm? Well, it was used primarily by scientific departments and physics labs as originally intended. One of the earliest web comics, Dr. Fun, was actually launched in 1993. Ah, humor. The internet has also been used in advertising more and more recently. There's a movie coming out soon that I can't wait for. It has one of my favorite b-ball players. It's called Space Jam, and let's look at the website. Apparently it was made by five people because the studio wouldn't give them very much money for it, which is understandable because not a lot of people currently use the internet, but it is a pretty money site. Maybe someday, huh, everyone will use the internet and have tiny computers they can keep in their pocket that are all connected to the World Wide Web. Uh, well that's just me fantasizing again, old Jake Roper. You know that little blue alien from that new hit song, Blue, Bada Dee Badu Die? Bada Dee Badu Die? Well, he has his own website, it's called Zordal. Dot com and you can check out how he met the band on his home planet and all the exciting things that he has planned for the future. I bet he's gonna be more than just a one-hit wonder. Ah, so good at predicting the future. You've heard of webcams, right? They're basically cameras that can connect to the internet. It's, it's wild. And I know video on the internet is, is crazy, but it's possible. The first webcam ever was installed at Cambridge University, probably for some super smart intellectual cause, but it wasn't. 
It was used to watch a coffee pot so the folks at the Cambridge Computer Lab wouldn't go all the way to the break room dust to find that there's no coffee. Where's the coffee, Cthulhu? The old gods, they love coffee. Anyways, the, the longest running webcam is fogcam.org and was started in 1994 by two students at SF State University, that's San Francisco University, to give outsiders a feel for student life on campus. It changed locations a few times over the years, but it's still going pretty strong. Good job, fog friends. <sighs> Isn't the internet a weird, wacky, and wonderful place? Oh, sorry, I'm getting a phone call on my cellular telephone. Uh, hello? What's that? No way! Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, ow! I just got a phone call from my friend Chaz. He says that now you can order things off the internet. And one of the websites he recommended is CuriosityBox.com. Now, the Curiosity Box is a quarterly subscription service that Michael, Kevin, and myself have made, and we curate and design all of the products in the box. It's filled with science toys, fun physics puzzles, just logic puzzles, t-shirts, books, and much more. And a portion of the proceeds goes to Alzheimer's research. We've actually been able to raise uh, over $100,000 so far. So check it out. You can have it shipped to your door through the internet. You wanna know something else that's cool? There's a thing called a hyperlink that you can click on. And we have hyperlinks all in the description down there for all the, all the stuff we talked about. Or there's something called a playlist. And it's not like a cassette tape playlist that you make for your uh, honey doodle. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a thing full of videos. You can check that out here too. And last but not least, did you know that there's uh, on the internet, there's something you can do called mail. You can send electronic mail to people all over the world. You don't have to pay for postage stamps, it's free. Isn't that wild? Uh, the internet is really neat and I hope it stays around for a while because I would like to uh, play online video games. I have an idea for one. It's like uh, counter-terrorist versus terrorist. I want to call it maybe uh, opposing strike or like counter force, something like that. I'm still working on it. Okay, and as always, thanks for watching.